हे एवरी वन वेलकम बैक टू द केटोर सर्वर फंडामेंटल्स प्ले लिस्ट इन द प्रीवियस वीडियो वी एक्सप्लोर हाउ टू हैंडल रॉ रिक्वेस्ट पे लोड डेटा टूडे वी विल डाइव इन टू हैंडलिंग यू आर एल इनकोडेड फॉर्म डेटा एंड मल्टी पार्ट फॉर्म डेटा फर्स्ट वी विल एक्सप्लोर हैंडलिंग यू आर एल इनकोडेड फॉर्म डेटा नेक्स्ट वी विल डाइव इन टू हैंडलिंग मल्टी पार्ट फॉर्म डेटा देन वी विल कवर हाउ टू लिमिट द साइज ऑफ फॉर्म फील्ड्स Finally, we'll compare URL encoded form data and multi-part form data. In URL encoded form, data is encoded into a string of key value pairs where both keys and values are URL encoded. Also, special characters are converted to a percent encoded format. This is ideal for simple forms with text-based data. So, for the further clarification, let's create a simple route let's suppose we want to create a post request let's give a path checkout now to receive all the form parameters within this request we can use let's suppose form data will be call dot receive parameters using this receive parameters extension function on application call we can uh, receive all the parameters form parameters within this request so now for the product id we can do something like product id equals form data and product id similarly for quantity we can do quantity equals form data and quantity now let's simply respond with the text now let's try out this API so for that let's quickly run the application now we are making post request within this checkout path so here we can choose body encoded we'll go with URL encoded so here what we can say is let's suppose product ID product id will be let's say 1 to 3 and quantity let's say we want 100 so now let's make a request and as you can see we are successfully able to receive this form parameters url encoded form parameters and we are able to see them in the response now that's it for form data now let's move to the multi-part form data. Now multi-part form data is designed for handling complex form, especially those that involves file uploads. As you can see in uh, URL encoded form, we just have a textual format. So this is something similar to query parameters itself. It gets encoded and added within the URL, like uh, something like uh, in query parameter, we have question mark followed by this. And something similar to that happens with this URL encoded format. So it is not impossible to include the file data in this format, but it is pretty complex and as well as it is not efficient and not recommended. And for handling file, file within the form data, we have option of multi-part form data. So using this, we have option to both. Uh, send the text value as well as files so we'll explore that so now for the further clarification let's create a post request let's say post and then let's give it a path multi-part data then to receive the multi-part data what we can do is we can say data equals call dot 
receive multipart extension function we can use this extension function this receive multipart extension function also has a form field limit parameter so in this we can specify limit for each fields so if request exit this limit then it will fail so what let's keep it as 50 megabytes you can uh, update based on your requirements so now to get access to all each of the part what we can do is we can say data dot for each part now we can say we can name it part then we can say something like this we can have a win expression and we can compare so if it's a form if it's a form item we'll do this handling if it's file item we'll have handling for that as well else we'll just have empty lambda block so for form item to access the key like uh, well key equals part dot name and in case it's null we can simply return you can do handling based on whatever is the requirement i'll simply return to return the values in response what we can do we can say we can have a instance of a map so it will be of type string since our key is a string and value will be mutable list of a string since our key can have multiple values so we will be having a mutable map of type string to mutable list so that we can do some operation like adding now to respond with all the field values and keys what we can do we can insert the key and values to this fields map so what let's do something like fields dot then we can say get or put for this key in case key doesn't exist we can in, in instantiate a new key mutable list and we can simply add value so part dot value so what this will do is it will try to get the value for this key in case if it doesn't exist we are initializing a new mutable list and then we are operating add operation we are doing add operation so once we are done using this uh, specific part what we can do is we can say part dot dispose now we are done with handling string values and keys now let's suppose we get file as a parameters so for that what we can say is we can get key in similar way now for the value part let's say mm, we can get file name equals part dot original file name and in case if it doesn't exist we'll similarly return now we'll do same thing like we will first say fields then get or put the key if key exists then it will be using existing value else we will say mutable list of then in here we can append the file name so we are done with this we can even do further handling like we can say if you want to upload 
this file like in the previous video we we add uploads folders where we uh, enabled user to upload in that folder so what we can do if you want to save this file we can say well file equals we can create an instance of file and we can say let's say we want the files in uploads folder and we can add a file path we can also say something like parent file dot mkd mkdrs so what this will do is if this uh, uploads directory doesn't exist then it will make sure it will create before any file operation so now now we can say part dot provider and we can simply copy and close to file dot write channel so in the previous video we discussed about byte read channel what it does is instead of loading entire file content in memory it will handle the file data in chunks so it will have less memory consumption compared to other methods so once we are done writing the uh, content to this file to this files path we can simply dispose this part now we are done with part handling we are also keeping track of all the fields all the key and values now simply let's return them in response we can say call dot respond and form fields we can simply say fields so now let's quickly try this out our path is multi-part data now type will be form data here we can say let's say we have images i have selected three files from my local storage now let let's add one text as well let's say great and let's suppose it hello as you can see we received all the key like for images we got uh, three file names like one which is download png one is this one and next is this one within a list and also for grid we got this hello text so this way we got access to all the multi-part form data also you can notice that within this uploads we have three files that we um, uploaded so now to try out this field limit part let's keep it as 40 megabytes so let me select one file with more than 40 now there are three files now it already this field images field already ex exceeds our limit so once we make request we should get internal server error since it is exceeding the field limit so this field can have limit of 50 megabytes this field can have limit of 50 megabytes but any of the field cannot exceed that limit like this field doesn't exceed the limit but this images field did exceed so our request failed so now to handle this let's say we give it as 100 megabytes let's quickly rerun the application as you can see now it works now 
now it is able to handle that since we have increased the limit and it is with these files are within the this field entire like the size of these three files is within the 100 MB limit. Now let's do some quick comparison between both of them both URL encoded form data as well as multi-part form data like if your form contains only text based fields URL encoded form data is the best choice because it's simple and lightweight if your form includes uh, file uploads or mixed data multi-part form data is required since URL encoded form data do not support binary data there are some workarounds you can use to support binary data in URL encoded form but uh, I guess it won't be as efficient as it is when we use multi-part form data we can use multi-part form data for in case of images or other complex type of data so that's it for this video in the next video we will be covering status pages plugin so until then thanks for watching and happy coding